If people will please begin to take your seats. Please find their seats. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Casey Boston, president of the 14th District Masters, Wardens, and Secretaries Association, located in Dallas, Texas. And on behalf of all of the Dallas Freemasons, I would like to welcome you to and thank you for attending this evening's event. Freemasonry is built on the three principles, principal tenets of brotherly love, relief, and truth. Masons come from all walks of life, religions, backgrounds, races, skin colors, creeds, and economic statuses, but we are all united in these in, and many other benevolent principles. Tonight, this room joins together as family friends, and fraternity to celebrate the rich 
cultural heritage of the Ukrainian people and to assist in the relief efforts of those displaced and affected by the recent conflict. If all those in attendance would please rise and join me in prayer. Most gracious and holy God, we thank you for the countless bl blessings you have graciously given us. We thank you for the opportunity to gather here today in safety and freedom. As we lift up our prayers for those less fortunate than us, we ask that you constantly give us the resources, strength, and wisdom to build this world into a better place to better serve you. In your perfect and glorious name we pray, amen. And if you would please remain standing uh, and join me in the United States National Anthem performed by Tereska Grinia White. If you would, please join me in a Pledge of Allegiance to the Lone Star State. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas. One state under God, one and indivisible. And now for the Ukrainian National Anthem, performed by Oksana Toporina. And please join me in a moment of silence to reflect on the status of the events of Ukraine.
Thank you, everyone. You could be seated. Next, I would like to introduce to you a very close personal friend of mine, a fraternal brother, and an all-around good guy, the vice president. He paid me a lot to say that. The vice president of the, the 14 District Master Sports and Secretaries Association, Mr. Seth Alston. Your check's in the mail. Early in our Masonic journeys, we are taught the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. We are admonished to have faith in God, hope in immortality, and charity to all mankind. Of these, charity is the greatest. For faith may be lost in sight, hope end in fruition, but charity extends beyond the grave through the boundless realms of eternity. Another thing we are quickly taught is that we do not discuss politics in any lodge meeting. So tonight, we will just focus on the Ukrainian humanitarian crisis and what we can do to assist in relief. What started small grew quickly into the event that we have tonight. Early on, we had a few musicians who would play a few songs and then we would conduct our normal business meeting. But more and more people wanted to contribute their time and talents to raise awareness and, more importantly, raise money. So we have picked two charities that we are encouraging you to donate to tonight, Hope House International and the International Committee of the Red Cross. You can also donate directly to the MWSA, and we will pass every dollar that you donate onto these charities for you. Uh, we have QR codes throughout the building. Uh, they were outside, and we will have them up on the screen here in a little bit. Um, and if you have any questions about that, come see me or come see any of the other MWSA officers, and we can assist you with that. We also take cash and checks. Uh, we'll try to take your money as any way we can and get it to these charities. So we have an eclectic array of performers for you tonight, from country and western music all the way to Ukrainian folk dancing. We even have a few that couldn't be here in person, so they have sent a few videos for us. Uh, the ladies' room is located in the back of the auditorium back there, and the men's room is behind us. If you take the outside this way, there are signs pointing that direction. So enough with the housekeeping. Let's get on to our performers. Our first performer is a Dallas native who has been traveling all over the world the last 50 years sharing his music. He has topped pop, country, western, and bluegrass charts and has released 35 albums to date. His original songs have been recorded by artists like The Monkees, John Denver, Dolly Parton, Johnny Cash, and many others. He has numerous honors and awards and has even been nominated for multiple Grammys. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage Michael Martin Murphy. Well, thank you. I'm here tonight to uh, express the idea that Texas is with Ukraine, Texas loves Ukraine, and the Ukraine people. We have something in common that's very important, and that is Texas is a great agricultural state. We have a lot of cattle, a lot of horses, and a lot of wheat and other grains to feed those animals and to feed people. And this situation that's developing involves a lot of displaced farmers and people who are displaced from the land who love the land. So I'm starting off tonight talking about uh, my grandparents, but uh, I believe that Ukrainians could relate to this who are farmers. It's an entire country close to the land. The sun comes up already on his second cup. He's looking out across the open sky. Streaks of orange, pink, and gray wash over rows of new mown hay. The rangeland fills a cowboy's heart with pride. 
He rises slowly from his chair His back is stiff, grays in his hair Spent a lot of long days in the sun He ain't one much to complain He saddles up, takes the reins and rides hard Till his working day is done You can see it in the eyes of every woman and man Who spent her whole lives living close to the land There's a love for the country There's a pride in the brand In America's heartland Living close to the land In Ukrainian heartland Close to the land When the sun is high overhead He's been eight hours out of bed She's still got a lot of work to do She's pulling weeds and patching jeans Keeping faith when times are lean She does a man's work and a woman's too She'll run the tractor, water stock Fix the truck, then feed her flock Somehow she gets roses from the ground She ain't got a thing to prove She simply does what she must do From early morning till the sun goes down You can see it in the eyes of every woman and man Who spent their whole lives living close to the land There's a love for the country There's a Pride in the brand in America's heartland, living close to the land in America's heartland, close to the land. There's something that the people know who make things live, make things grow. Deeper than the words of any sage That unless you've touched this earth Planted seeds or given birth The human heart can never come of age You can see it in the eyes of every woman and man Who spent their whole lives living close to the land there's a love for the country There's a pride in the brand In America's heartland Living close to the land America's heartland Close to the land Ukraine heartland Close to the land Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, tis a gift to come down where we ought to be. When we find ourselves in the place just right, it will be in the valley of love and delight. And when true Simplicity is gained To bow and to bend We won't be ashamed To turn, turn Will be our delight Till by turning, turning We'll come around right Bringing in the sheep We shall come rejoicing, bringing in 
the sheep. It's here for the farmers and ranchers of Ukraine. It's here for them. We hear a lot about the refugees, but I've been checking. There are also 6.5 million people displaced within Ukraine tonight. And uh, quite a few of them are horse owners. Over 100,000 horses have been set free by their owners so that missiles and bombs wouldn't fall on the farms. And uh, they hope to get their horses back. And they have not left the country because they want to be close to their horses. So the ramifications of something like this in a humanitarian sense is so great because all of that grain, all of that land, which is some of the richest oil, uh, excuse me, soil, and they have a lot of oil and gas too, but uh, down in another part. But the soil itself is so rich, it's sometimes said to be the richest soil on the planet Earth. People have come from all over the world to invest in farming there. So it's very important for the food for the rest of the world that Ukrainian culture and hard work is rewarded. So uh, this is another song I'm going to sing for, uh, for the people that are trying to maintain their culture and stay at home and feed the rest of us. I wrote this for my uncle who found himself on Omaha Beach when he was a teenager in World War II. He never said much about the Battle of Omaha Beach. We asked him why he did it. He said, well, because I took a military oath. We said, what is that? He said, I, I didn't swear to defend the borders of our country. I swore to defend the ideals and the principles of the Constitution of the United States based on individual freedom. This is from my uncle. For all those guys who got down from a tractor or threw down the reins and went and fought in World War II, came home, married their high school sweethearts, and kept right on ranching and farming. Just like I know many who are displaced will eventually go back to because they love it. My country under God My country under God I stand on my land and its sacred ground I'll not surrender, I'll not stand down. My country knows no king or queen or crown. My country's under God. My country under God. My country. slaves were freed and free men tried where my grandfathers broke the sod no king or queen will ever run roughshod over my country under God my country My country under God Though I be shackled, bound in chain And though this ground may be bloodstained It's here I shall always remain In my country under God my country 
God's own hand. May his commandments always stand in this country under God. My country Thank you. Uh, in the singing that song, I wanted to dedicate that to Darius, the memory of Darius Lorenzetti. His father is here. Darius is an Iraq uh, war veteran. And uh, his father uh, was my neighbor right next door for several years and still very close to where I live. And I'm glad you're here, Oli Lorenzetti. He has made a significant contribution tonight. So thank you, Oli, for being here. I want to encourage other people. If you want to, to don't donate in the name of someone that you want to be remembered who love their country and their land. Uh, on that note, I'd also like to make a special announcement. I picked up the phone just after I, I learned about this benefit and asked them if they would give me some seats tonight. They said, well, it's, it's free to the public, so it's first come and first serve. And I said, well, if I could get people to fill the seat by making a donation, would you allow me a few seats? And they're all filled up now. <laughs> and if we did have those seats, and uh, some of them are here. The most significant contribution tonight, and they're all important, is that we have received a big check from the former Texas Rangers Foundation, who are with you with Crane. They're with you and they love you. The greatest public safety and fighting force in the history of the United States, and in my opinion, the history of the world, has made a donation for Ukrainian refugees. My goodness. Right now, uh, I'm going to uh, sing a little song that uh, is about what happens when people are broken up or split up. And that's what's happening right now. The reason I don't sleep at night right now is because I think of the children, millions of children, who have no idea of the politics or anything else. All they know is that their life is being taken away from them. In some cases, their parents their friends, their grandparents. Jesus said that children are special. They come first. Suffer the little children, come unto me. Those parents have to do everything they can to stick together, but what if they're, they're separated by a situation like this? you crying, don't you let go, there's so much the years have left to show, don't count the rainy days, they blow hard and then they're gone, don't throw our love away, 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 in the dark 
Sometimes I'm made of stone But I never meant to leave you alone I want to tell you I know at times I didn't try When you needed me, I'd run and hide Oh, but now I'm standing by your side Count the rainy days, they blow hard and then they're gone. Don't throw our love away, away, away in the dark before the dawn. You got to hold. One for my, one of my mom and dad now in Dallas, Texas. Lived here all their lives. Uh, we had a, a lot of relatives in Fort Worth and also in Tyler, Texas, and down toward the Big Thicket in Texas. We're pretty much uh, North Texas and Big Thicket people. And again, my parents also uh, were deeply involved in the struggle in World War II. And uh, they were married on the courthouse steps uh, of Fort Worth, Texas, um, by a justice of the peace, a long line of young men about to be shipped out. And they, they got it done before that happened. Then it ended up my dad didn't have to go, but my other two uncles did. I sang this song for them on their, their 60... 60th birthday, uh, 60th anniversary, their 61st and their 62nd. They were married for 62 years. I know that uh, the Ukraine people will relate to this. I asked my dad one time, how'd you make it through such hard times? My generation's not very good about it making it through hard times. We're, what's, what's the difference between us and you? He said, well, I think the primary difference, son, is that you're nothing but a bunch of whiners. So I hear the interviews on television with the Ukraine people, I don't hear any whiners.
bought a beautiful diamond ring, offered it to the sweetest thing I know. She said she would take it. Started making some wedding plans. She looked at me and she took my hand. And she said, Do you think we could make it? Said my granddad still in love. My grandma. My dad still thinks my mom the sweetest thing he ever saw. I come from a long line of love. When the times get hard, we don't give up. Forever's in my heart and in my blood. Come from a long line of love. Years went by and we had a son. Now he thinks that he's found someone for him. They're planning a wedding. He called me up on the phone today. Just to see what I had to say to him. Did I think he was ready? I said, Well, son, tell me about this girl that you're going to marry. Is she smart? He said, Oh, Dad, she's real smart. She can learn anything, do anything. Did that mind? I said, Is she cute? Is she pretty? Oh, she's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen, Dad. As far as I'm concerned, that'll never change. I said, well, son, I've asked you about some of the surface things, but now I want to ask you about something really important. I said, okay, Dad. You know, fall in love and date girls all you want, but when you get married, I want you to take my advice. He said, yeah, Dad. He said, yes, play the field and have a good time. But when you get married, I want you to promise me you'll marry a woman who can run a bobcat and back a trailer. Said what his grandfather used to say to me. It's been handed down for ages. It runs in the family Come from a long line of love When times get hard Son, don't give up Forever's in your heart And in your blood Come from a long line of love Just remember Come from a long line of love. Come from a long line of love. Now that was what you would call a backward country song. It's upside down. In most country songs, you have drinking, divorce, and depression put all three of those in one song, and it's number one song. But I don't want to sing depressing songs for the rest of my life. Of course, it's natural to maybe take a drink once in a while and be a little depressed, but, you know, to use that to try to get over the real unhappiness is just, uh, that's really self-destructive. I don't like to sing negative songs because it has an effect on people. It has an effect on me. When I'm depressed and the audience is depressed, they walk out afterwards and depress everybody else. And pretty soon, everybody's line dancing. <laughs> I don't want to dance 20 feet apart from people. I want to kind of dance with them, if you know what I mean. So that song was, uh, that I just did was... It was discouraged. They discouraged me from recording it. My record company said it's, it's too positive. But uh, when it became a number one song, they said, you got any more of those positive, encouraging songs? 
So this is another one like that. It's a Just ask the question, why? I've been looking at people How they change with the times Lately all I've been seeing are people Throwing love away, losing their minds Maybe it's me who's gone crazy I can't understand why Why all these lovers keep hurting each other Good love is so hard to come by So what's the glory in living? Doesn't anybody ever stay together anymore And if love never lasts forever What's forever? I see love hungry people trying their best to survive and right there in their hands there's a dying romance they're not even trying to keep it alive so what's the glory Thank you so kindly. Uh, I've uh, been given about a half hour, and um, I'm coming to the end of that right now. So I want, I want you to know there's a lot of incredible stuff coming uh, for you uh, folks out there that have never experienced uh, some of the dancing and the songs and the music from this part of the world. Uh, it's, it's delightful music. It's very moving music. It really comes from somewhere down deep in the gut and from the heart like you can't believe. And uh, so I'm going to end with one that comes from the heart the most for me. And I want to dedicate this to all the uh, Ukrainian horse owners and livestock owners, people that are involved in what we would, kids that are involved in what we would call 4-H, which is an international organization. Um, My heart breaks to think that the great breadbasket of that side of the world is, uh, is in danger. And the people who work it, what are they going to do without the people who work it to feed the rest of us? There's always hope. The Native Americans believe that as long as there was one free wild horse left, that someday they might get their culture back. Some called that horse the pacing white stallion of the Llano Estacado, the white Mustang who could never be captured. If anyone did try to capture him, 
he'd run away from the Mustanger's rope and leap off into a chasm, into the darkness, into a canyon. Some say losing his life and then coming back as a spirit to help other people, to offer salvation for people who needed it. Isn't it interesting at the end of the Bible, it says that when Jesus comes back, he will be riding a white horse. As a cowboy, that makes me happy. That means there's going to be horses in heaven. And may long live the great stallions and mares of Ukraine. She comes down from Gilly Mountain On a dark flat land she rides On a pony she named Wildfire A whirlwind by her side On a cold Nebraska night Oh, they say she died one winter when there came a killing frost, and the pony she named Wildfire busted down a star in a blizzard. He was lost. Men call him wildfire. She ran calling wildfire. She ran calling So by the dark of the moon, I planted. But there came an early snow. In a hoot of heaven outside my window now. Six nights in a row. I also want to uh, send out my love and gratitude to my whole family listening or watching out there. You go on the road many years, and every time you leave, your heart sinks a little bit. But recently, I've been thinking about what that means in terms of Ukraine. And maybe mom and dad are never coming back. So I thank my family for putting up with one more day on the road so that I can come here and do this tonight. And there'll be more like this. 
I also want to thank Rick Collette, who's a, a Menominee Indian from up in Wisconsin who works on my staff. He's worked very, very hard for this event. Native Americans know what it's like to have their land taken away from them. I also want to thank uh, James Hodgen, my manager, who gave up some of his family time to fly in here and spend all day long to make sure that our live stream went well and we had good sound. And also uh, my good buddy Dan McDonald, who's uh, also been on the road with me for quite a few years now, for helping out. This would not have been possible tonight without them. And to the second violinist in the San Angelo Symphony, a Polish fellow named Hubert, who walked up to me and said, Mr. Murphy, you are going to help Ukraine, aren't you? You are going to help Ukraine. <laughs> also, uh, last but certainly not least, I want you Dallas folks to know that one of the guys that's probably the most important backers of the city of Fort Worth is here tonight. You know? actually crossed the line to come over here <laughs> and uh, he's a sure enough western man the stockyards wouldn't be there and the western heritage and cowboy heritage of our city of fort worth would not be what it is without him so steve murren thank you for coming too if we can unite dallas and fort worth we can do anything. Good night. <laughs> Outstanding. One more time for Mr. Michael Martin Murphy. So Murph alluded to the fact that uh, Hubert Prelis kind of straight went to him and said, hey, what are you doing for Ukraine? So Murph was one of the later additions to this tonight, but we thank him so much. With him and his connections, with his team, with Rick and, and Dan and James, they made the bulk of this happen from the live stream we're on now to the sound to everything. Uh, we are in depth to him for this. Thank you so, so much, Michael Martin Murphy. So we alluded to the fact earlier that we said we would take your money any way we could for this cause. So we had multiple QR codes here and I mentioned that we will take cash or checks. Now, some of you, like myself, I left my checkbook at home on accident, but there is a mailing address you can send your checks in to. So if you send it to the Dallas Scottish Ride at 500 South Harwood Street here in Dallas, they will get the money to the MWSA, we will deposit it and put it to the money towards the charities. So there is a way, if you forgot your checkbooks, don't worry, you can still donate. Another thing that we have, that this is kind of a last minute addition that is absolutely amazing, but you'll notice a fine Yamaha guitar up here to my left. This guitar has been graciously donated by Mr. Murphy. If you take a look at it, there we go. If you take a look at it, not only did he sign it and write the, na the name of one of his biggest songs, he wrote the lyrics, hand wrote the lyrics all the way around it to the song Wildfire. That's great. So, this guitar can be yours. So normally, I was told this sells for about $1,500. So I will sell it with the money going directly to our charities to the person who says they will buy it for $1,500 or who gives me more money. So, 
Do I hear 1,500? Casey, we've got 1,500. Does anybody want to top Casey, or is Casey going home? I've got $2,000. This guitar is going away for $2,000. Now, does anybody else want to donate? If not, we're going for once, twice. you got a guitar for $2,000. Come see us after, and we will gladly take your money and put it towards all the money going to the Ukraine relief. We're going to shift gears quite a bit on you now for another, for another great performance, but just of a much different genre. Please help me welcome our next performer, Yagoda Putoma Vanka. Our next performer is the Yagoda Dance Ensemble.
Excellent. One more time, the Yagoda Dance Ensemble. Please help me welcome our next performer, concert pianist Misha Baretsnev. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for your support, um, supporting peace for uh, Ukraine and supporting uh, peace for people of Ukraine. And I'm just so happy to be part of this event. And uh, the piece that I'm going to perform uh, is a very dear piece to me. And, uh, it's almost like a prayer that was, it was written by um, um, composer Cesar Frank for organ, for that instrument of that type. And then it was later on um, arranged for piano uh, solo by uh, famous concert pianist Harold uh, Bauer. So uh, the piece is, is called Prelude, Fugue, and Variation. Thank you.
Misha Baretsnev, everybody. Our next performer is Marina Dichenko. performing a piece by Ukrainian composer Miroslav Skorik, a melody.
our next performer, Teresca Greña White. Good evening, one, two, three, stop the race. I'm going to perform for you uh, two Ukrainian folk songs, Svita Teren, which means the thorn bush blooms, and Ritna Mati Moya, my dearest beloved mother. Thank you. 
And for the second piece, Marina Dechenko on violin. And once again, my beloved dearest mother. Thank you.
Thank you, Misha Baretsnev, Marina Dichenko, and Tereska Grenia White. I jumped the gun. There's one more. Go for it. One, two, three, okay.
outstanding. Misha, Marina, and Tereska. We had a few performers who could not actually be here today, but still wanted to contribute. So they have actually sent in submissions via video. Our first is Australian composer, Deddy Zur. Those. Good day, you all, and greetings from Sydney. My name is Deddy Tsur, and I'm a film, media, and concert composer now based in Australia. As I was following the ensuing tragic events happening in Ukraine, I felt compelled to put pencil to paper and to compose this string quartet. Trying to express with music the plight of the Ukrainian refugees, the chaos and destruction. And I reached out to my dear friends, Hubert Pralitz and Bethany Wilds. Was relieved to hear they're putting this fundraiser event together. So I hope the music can resonate with you. And I hope my small contribution could help and raise awareness and raise funds to help our fellow human beings in the Ukraine. Thank you all for taking part of it. And best regards from Australia. And to perform an original composition, Irving Symphony Orchestra String Quartet, Bethany Wilds, Hubert Pralitz, Bo Dong, and John Landefeld.
Good evening, everyone. My name is Marek Pro. Good evening, everyone. My name is Marek Probosz, and I'm joining you from Los Angeles, California. I would like to express my deepest sympathy for all the suffering people of Ukraine. May love, compassion, and forgiveness heal all wounds. I would like also express my gratitude to all the Polish people who opened not only their hearts, but also their homes for all the refugees, over two million from Ukraine. Thank you, my colleagues, artists, for organizing this important fundraising concert. And thank you to all you people who are supporting this noble cause. I'll be reading a poem by Czesław Miłosz, Polish winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1980. When Swedish Academy awarded Miłosz, they said, he voices man's exposed condition in a world of severe conflicts. Hope is with you when you believe. The earth is not a dream, but living flesh. The sight, touch, and hearing do not lie. that all things you have ever seen here are like in a garden. Looked from a gate, you cannot enter, but you are sure it's there. Could we but look more closely and wisely we might discover somewhere in the garden a strange new flower and an unnamed star. Some people say we should not trust our eyes that there is nothing just a seeming These are the ones who have no hope. They think that the moment we turn away, the world behind our backs ceases to exist, as if snatched up by the hands of the thieves. Shevchenko is widely regarded as the father of modern Ukrainian literature and of the written Ukrainian language. It is only fitting that he is immortalized through music by the first Ukrainian nationalist composer and ethnomusicologist, Nikola Thank you. 
evening, my friends. My name is Hubert Kralitz. This is Vikay Denesnev. Allow us to join you tonight in this evening of support and prayer for Ukraine. We would like to present a remembrance by Daddy. Again, that was Hubert Prelitz and his wife, Bethany Wilds. Now, this night would not be possible without Hubert. Hubert is the uh, kind of the brainchild of this event tonight. Him and his wife, um, just him and his wife, Bethany, have just kept finding more and more people who wanted to do something and contribute. So to Hubert and Bethany, thank you. Now, I'm not the best model for this, but I can do what I tr can try. Um, we have a lovely lady by the name of Tony Washington who has donated multiple excellent pieces of jewelry. We have bracelets and earrings available for purchase outside uh, with all of the, the uh, proceeds going directly to charity. This was a straight donation by her. These are all Michael Gabriel designs. So if you're interested, these beautiful pieces are out here in our foyer. And again, all the money spent on them goes directly towards the charities. 
Now, it's no easy task to herd all of these performers around behind the scene. We would like to give a special thank you to Jim Gusevitz, who has been working behind the curtain to get everybody where they need to be. Jim? We would also like to take a quick moment to thank the Dallas Scottish Rite uh, for allowing us to use this amazing building tonight. General Secretary Donnie Broughton and his staff has worked extremely hard and have made this night flow so much more smoothly than we could on our own. So to Secretary Broughton, to Brian Newman, Miguel Gr uh, Granados, and Jimmy Emmons, thank you so, so much. Our final performers for tonight will be the Zoria Ukrainian Dance Ensemble, and I present to you Oksana Toparina, who can give more information. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, what a beautiful event. Zora means rising star, and they are entertaining Texas crowd since 1976. Think about this, they, they've been around for a while. And the first dance that they're gonna do is Dubotanets. It's from the western region of Ukraine by Carpathian Mountains Stamping Dance. Dubotanets. Got the rhythm yet? Beautiful. Thank you very much. Kids start dancing at the group when they turn five and they can dance to whatever. So right now, uh, junior girls are gonna dance Zhenci for you. Everybody knows that Ukraine is a bread, bread basket of Europe, and the girls 
are going to show us how to collect the wheat. Genti. Good job, ladies. Good job. The next dance is Deviatka. Deviatka means nine. Three brothers are taking their sisters out to dance. Deviatka.
That was quite a dance party. Good job. The next dance is called Chumak. We start training our, training our army early, how to defend. In this case, Chumak is a salt trader. They used to take salt from the sea to different areas of Ukraine. And they were defending their salt with heavy whips. Chumak. Thank you, thank you, thank you, boys. You don't have to be Ukrainian to join the group, so come on over, work those knees. We practice every Sunday. The next dance is polka. Polka is a three-step. Here is polka, Ukrainian way.
Thank you for your wonderful polka, guys. The next dance is called Kozachok. It's a junior couple dance from Poltava region. Kozachok. Put your hands together. It's, it's a school night, okay? Let's wake them up. Beautiful guys, great job, great job, thank you. The next one is Vesnyanka. Beautiful Ukrainian ladies are welcoming spring after a long and cold winter. Vesnyanka.
Aren't they beautiful? The next one is Zaporozhets. We're going to show you how our army is trained. Right, guys? Zaporozhets. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Heroim Slava. And the last but not least is Hopak. Hopak is very special dance for us Ukrainians. It's danced for special occasions, uh, weddings, anniversaries, and as all of the Ukrainians, we're greeting you with bread and salt, which shows the sincerity and kindness of Ukrainians. And the, the end of the dance is pretty energetic. Are you ready? <laughs> Hopak! tradition after the show we share the bread with you our guests
bude i dieniek.
Director of the group, Andrew Chibani and Stefan Sokolik. Thank you very much, guys, for having us here tonight. It's such a treat. Please join us in our effort. Please be on the lookout for our events. We appreciate you so much, you cannot even imagine. Please have a piece of bread. Slava Ukraini!